Hello there, hello, it's Karen Kiriton, Kiriton Consulting, sharing more hints and tips about social media. And the reason I am in this visual today, sharing screen with you, is we're going to talk about referrals. Are you asking for recommendations? People who have worked with you and are happy with the experience of working with you. So I want to ask that question is, how often do you ask? Do you ask it as an afterthought? Is it something you do as a matter of course? So there are numerous ways we can do that. And I'm on LinkedIn because that's the um, way that most people will give me a testimonial through social media. So let's just take you through how I would ask for recommendations before we go off that. These are some of my 56 recommendations, which are all sitting here. But I've just finished working with the lovely Nikki at Delta 74. And I could ask her for a recommendation. So I go to her profile, if you're not sure how to do it. Request a recommendation. And what LinkedIn will give you is some steps to go through. So Nikki was a client. Um, my position was here and then you get this which is a really basic thing but what I like to do is something slightly different I prepared is something slightly different so I'm just gonna hit back to here to make it really personal personal can I even say it so so I'm just gonna make it Never type when I've got somebody watching. Georgia can't type. Can you write me a brief? Because if you say it, people are worried. One of the most reasons most people don't do a recommendation because they don't know what to say. So I've tailored this for my business, but you could um, do it for yours. So I've created a series of questions. Do you recall how you first heard about me? What capacity we work together? What made you choose my business? And you get the gist. And then I also put an add on. If you can also confirm you how for me to use your recommendation on my website and other social media too. And then I send that off to her. On Facebook, well, we're dependent upon people offering us reviews. So if we go to my Facebook page and just have a look at that, it's just taking a second. There we go. So this will show the most helpful, not sorry, the most recent. So we can see those. So you can ask people to place a review on that. You could ask people to submit a review on Google, which is something I'm starting to work on now. But above all, you could do something like job forms and create your own form, which you send, and then you could use that for your website. But having those reviews on your social media platforms is invaluable to give you credibility. One that I then like to do is use that collateral to take some sound bites. So if we go back, um, bah, 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 bah. so here we've got Sean's from a mini course that I run. Um, you know, something like that might be quite nice to use as a sound bite because when you're putting testimonials out onto social media, you don't have too much text in them. You want to keep them simple. So that's today's top tips. Make sure you're asking for referrals. If you want to know more, get in touch for a free strategy. She call and I'll see you soon.